All right, let's get into it. Here's the roll backlog, so you guys can see I didn't roll back. People were telling me I did that in the uh, one HP run. So in this one, we're just gonna show that every time. Now, if you look at my inventory, you'll see I already have Nightmare Fuel and Purple Gems. And we know where some living logs are, so you know what we're gonna do next. Just gotta hit control and you can attack those even when they're in their tree form like that. And that is over a stack of living logs. We're also over a stack of nightmare fuel. Okay, we need to explore now. I'm just trying to clear up some inventory space right now by uh, making another alchemy engine. So I'll just go to the science machine, hammer that, that'll give us one more gold after I make cut stone, of course. Now, if you noticed, I already have a Shadow Manipulator. And I also have 21 living logs in my inventory. And a whole bunch of Nightmare Fuel. The only things it takes to make a... Gosh, I forget how you say it. Nightmare Sword? Shadow Sword? I forget what it's called, exactly. Dark Sword, ugh, that's what it is, okay. Yeah, I can just make a whole bunch of those. Seven to be exact right now which is the strongest weapon in the game. What have we got here? Oh, oh, this is such a good base spot. This is going to be great. That's the full moon. I'm not going to be able to make it back to the Pig King, so I'm not even going to try. Normally on full moon, you want to be at uh, be at the Pig King so you can grab Glomer. He's just uh, free. He's just free healing station, basically, because the goop he drops makes you insane and heals you a ton. I have no idea what that was there. My recorder stopped working and the game crashed at the same time. Ooh. Now, here's a little trick you guys may not know. If you hammer these down on a full moon, 
they give you nightmare fuel. Same goes for mermheads and pig villages. Okay, let's go to the end of the path. I want to make sure there's no wormhole in here before I start setting up base. Ooh, we got the rook head there. That's good to keep in mind. Don't believe I've seen any other of the statue's heads yet. Which is really too bad. I really like to kill Fuel Weaver early if I can. Normally, I don't recommend building the Oasis because it's just a waste of time in the sandstorm and you can't wear a helmet in there. And you should just be underground the entire summer anyways. So yeah, I wouldn't do that if I were you guys normally, unless you get a really good wormhole like this. I'm build up right here. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, let's drop this bird trap again. Hope it actually catches something. We'll put this seed in it so it actually catches something. Generally, if you wait long enough on the surface, it'll catch something just anyways, but uh, I didn't, and I kinda want a bird in a cage soon. No, I don't have any logs. I should have grabbed the ones off the science machine. I would have had nothing. Oh. This is a... Oh. Okay. Alright. Don't starve. I don't know what you've been smoking, but you gotta stop that. We're gonna go get some gold rocks now, because I'm going to need those, too. This is good, too, because we'll get more honeycombs in total. Also, um, I forgot to say, this spawn with the uh, ocean in between is extremely useful for the dragonfly because it just makes it easier to... How was I going to say? It makes it easier to build the wall so I can get to kiting her. I mean, not kiting her. So I don't have to waste as many resources building up for the fight as normal. I also need to collect two bird seeds for the bird cage. You might notice that I am avoiding the regular boulders here. That's because, similar to how lumpy trees work with not dropping pine cones, I don't really need what's dropping from them, which would be niter. So, and that would just waste time while I'm pi picking it up, so... Or avoiding picking it up, I should say. Okay, that's it for that pickaxe. Not gonna need it anymore. Well, I'll use it for a thermal stone later when I pick it back up. Because you can use a 3% one, 
are as low as percent as you want to get it, and it will still work for getting a thermal stone that is full percentage. Okay, now I am picking cactus flesh, and then I'm going to go dig up more blue mushrooms in the caves, and then I'm coming back here, building a wall, and killing the dragonfly. Hopefully I did not need new attacks to it, I'm just not going to get caught off guard. Ooh, a little connection here. This would have been a good spot to build the base, actually. But I mean, it does not matter that much. And that's a little bit further away than the, from the wormhole than I like it. I just like that spot there because it has some natural defenses with the ocean. Now, you'll see I'm grabbing cactus for food for the dragonfly. It's really a good hunger filler, unlike uh, blue mushrooms. They fill a little bit of hunger, but they're mostly for health. And they're not that common, so I don't like to waste them. Okay, we're grabbing you. Let's get this bird out of my inventory. Got that seed too, I can just eat it then. Not right now, present. Now, I will open you. My whole goal right now is basically just to free up inventory space. It's so annoying. It's good to make a trip down to the caves once in a while anyways, just because you're going to need light bulbs to refuel if you're not doing the lantern trick. almost to wimpy levels, so I'm going to need to get back up to the surface and cook some stuff real quick. And these also give some hunger back. Eat them up. Have to use a uh, WASD to move, whereas I normally like to click because it has slightly less lag input because I'm carrying an item. It's really annoying. Game keeps crashing on me. It's not cool, man. I'm only using one client mod.
Yes, okay. It's one down. Four hits, okay. This thing's too stale for me to be going with a three-hit tactic. The full hammer hits 51, and I'm just not thinking. 